addition to new user fees in 2012, as has been said, the FDA has proposed a regulation in 2013 regarding uh, generic labeling that, according to one estimate, could increase spending on generic drugs by billions of dollars. In 2015, uh, you proposed a quality metrics program through draft guidance, draft guidance, that would require manufacturers to, to collect new information and also to collect and report information from the CMOs. The generic drug manufacturers have raised uh, significant concerns, I think, to everybody here regarding reporting complexity, the uh, confidentiality of data, increased information technology spending, all of which would increase the burdens on the manufacturers and require significant efforts to resolve. Now, if these quality reports are to be required and, are, and obviously are necessary to ensure high quality uh, drugs, uh, generic drugs. Shouldn't this be done through rulemaking? I would pause here and say this is the first time in my House or Senate career that I've ever proposed more rulemaking. <laughs> but rulemaking rather than a guidance right. where there is no responsibility to look at the impact on small business and those who are involved can't respond to comments, which to me seems to be very important. Well, both of those, the regulation you mentioned first and then the draft guidance that we uh, uh, issued some time ago on quality metrics, were, um, were requests for comments. The draft guidance is not actionable. It's simply a request for comments. So we did receive a great deal of comments on both of these, and we are in the time of digesting these comments, and we will take appropriate steps after we've uh, gotten feedback, but we have gotten a great deal of feedback on the quality metrics draft proposal, both from the innovator industry and the generic industry, and actually it's one of the few times where they appear to be united in their opinions. So um, <laughs> we will certainly um, are taking that into uh, consideration in what we do next. I appreciate that. Um, I think most of the questions that I have here have already been asked by members. Um, the definition uh, question that was raised, I think, by Senator Murray um, in your testimony, in your, in your testimony, you highlighted the ongoing challenge of submission quality, and the question was, have you made public and guidance or otherwise what the standard for good quality submissions is? Uh, when was that released? Or have you released that? Well, it's a whole series of different guidances. For example, um, the we issue product-specific guidance that tells you for this, if you're going to copy this innovator product, here's how you should do your bioequivalence studies and so forth. We've issued, we've really ramped up our issuance of those because they're extremely helpful to industry. How many folks you got doing this? The guidance development? Well, the, I mean, you're talking about, you know, we're interested in um, 2015 and everybody left behind and, and those in the future. Uh, how many people you got, uh, what, a thousand people doing this or what? Yeah, well, there, there's, the um, <clears throat> there are thousand, there's about maybe a thousand people in the Office of Generic Drugs. Right. There's uh, maybe 800, 900 people working on this in Office of Pharmaceutical Quality. Then our inspectors, uh, all, we've added, we added 70 new inspectors to do some of these foreign inspections and stuff. So the program is probably perhaps 3,000 people overall. 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that.